Hi. So you ready to take me to the carnival? That's in town? I guess. But there's nothing for me to do there anyway. But fine, I'll take you. Yay! Come on. And also, Mom and Dad are going to a Halloween party tonight. So, we got to go. Alright. The lions are all fed, Master. They're nice and tamed, and I think it's time. The lions better be tamed. And keep them that way, or else you're fired. Yes, Master. Master, the kids are coming. It's showtime. Well, what are we standing around for? Let's get started. Move, move, move! Yes, Master. It's time for the show to start. Come one, come all. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls of all ages, welcome to the carnival. Grab your popcorn, cotton candy, sodas, play games, and win fabulous prizes. It's to die for. Get your tickets and enjoy. No refunds. Daddy, I want to go on the roller coaster. Oh boy. <sighs> You two seriously wanted to come to this freak show? It's all her fault. She wanted to go, I didn't. But they have cotton candy. Hello there. <gasps> Would you kids like a balloon? Look at how they float. It's Pennywise! Ah! Ugh, get back here! Why are they always running away from me? I don't get paid enough. Okay. You... You have two hours to do whatever you want to do. Why two hours? Because Mom and Dad will kill me if I'm not back. Fine. I guess we can go on the carousel. Why? Because it's fun. It's stupid. I don't care. Okay, Rena, your outfit's done. Let me see a look. Awesome. Master's gonna love it. I'll go tell her that you're ready. Master, she's ready. She better be. Tick tock goes the clock, Rena. Your show starts soon, so I suggest you hurry up and not lollygag. Okay. I said that your designer d didn't use a clown nose this time. Not many kids came to the show because of it. That's good. Now hurry up and finish up with your makeup and let's go. Time is money, people! Alright, I'm ready. Perfect. Now remember, don't talk to strangers. Get out there and show those kids what you got, and I'll be out there in a couple more minutes. Okay. Hi. Right. Where's my whip? WHERE'S MY WHIP?! What's going on there? I don't know. Behold, ladies and gentlemen, Rena, the live doll. She sings, she dances, and if you're lucky, she will give you a kiss on the cheek. Or the forehead if you're extremely short. Go ahead, Rena, give that young boy a little smooch. Huh? Me? 
Well, who else would I be talking to? Come on, young boy, don't be shy. She doesn't bite. Okay. Um, hi. How adorable. Keep on watching, boys and girls, while Rena and I do a few skits. The first sketch is trying to impress her, which is not easy. Hey, Rena. Will flowers change your mind? I mean, they are nice. Can we go watch? Fine. That's probably some fake scam thing. Stop being a dick. She's a doll, not a real one, Asher. So stop daydreaming. Emma, be quiet. Okay, so the flowers ain't working, huh? Well, how about these chocolates? I got regular and white chocolate. Which one do you like? I do like chocolate. <laughs> sure. But we all know to get to a woman's heart is pets. Uh, n not a cat person? How about now? That's better, and yes. And just like that, ladies and gentlemen, is how you get a girl. You almost blew it out there! Didn't you forget that the kitten was your key? We rehearsed this a million times, Rena. And here we go with the whole argument routine. Don't give me that back sass. Get it right! I was almost ruined! Humiliated! Do that again, and no food for another week! But punishment for tonight, no dinner tonight, got it? I swear people never listen to me. Rise and shine, everyone! Let's prepare! We got another show to do! Alright. Stage is set. Lights on. Perfect. Okay. Oh, Rena, we're not playing the cards up this time. Master emailed me saying that we don't need them up because they kept falling and it was a pain. Anyway, stage is yours. Hmm. Why do I still see a card up? Oh, Master. Rena put it out. I'm gonna take it down soon. You better. Cause when I said no cards, I said no cards. It was a pain to put them up and it was a pain to set them down. Now, get rid of it. Now. Right away, Master. Come on. <sighs> Very good, Rena. I'm gonna be in my office signing some contracts, so if you need me, I'll be in my office, okay? Keep up the good work. Hugo, that's no way to talk to your girlfriend like that. I know she wants to have little babies with you and you don't want to, but come on, it'll be so cute. How are the lions holding up? They're fine, it's just the couple are having an argument. But it's a good thing I'm in here since the lions only like me because if it's just you in here, they're gonna maul you up and eat you. Do I look afraid of these beasts? No, master. Oh, Hugo, she didn't mean it. What did he say? 
He said, don't call my girlfriend a beast. She's the most beautiful feline in the world. And you offended him. Now please apologize to him because if you don't apologize, he's going to eat me. My apologies, Hugo. I must be off. I have a little doll to check up on. No offense, Master, but don't you think you're kind of working her a little too much? She already paid the ticket to work here. There's no turning back now. And here's her food, you big beast. A single bone? They're gonna need more than that. <sighs> Good enough. <sighs> all right, all right, I'm moving. Hungry, big babies. Ah, I see you're done. Oh, crap, I almost forgot. Here's your water. You're welcome. Okay, I'm gonna go put on my clown makeup, and yeah. So yeah, you know where I am. Great! Oh! I am so sorry. Um, aren't you that girl from that show or something? Look, I don't need to be rude, but I think those are special effects. That's what you believe. Excuse me? Hello, young man. I see you're meeting our dear Rena here. But, oh, look at the time. She's extremely busy. And we don't open until tonight. So, unless you're looking for a job here, we're closed. Okay. Rena, let's talk about your dancing, shall we? I'm sure we can work on whipping you into shape. Well, come on. No time to dilly-dally. Let's go. He bumped into me, and I didn't even say anything to him. You know the rules. You are allowed to not talk or go near anyone unless I say otherwise. And you stay in your room when you're done practice. So I can't take a break? I... I'm sorry, Jean. We gotta do this again. Stop!
I don't know. I don't think we're gonna have to cancel that, okay? I can cancel it if I want to. I'm the boss here. I suggest that you stop talking back to me before I fire your good-for-nothing. <sighs> Gotta go. <sighs> Come in. <sighs> yes, Rena. Can we talk? Talk. I apologize for being there, that guy. I should have just went back to my room back then. So, I apologize for being around a stranger. And I was wondering if you'll forgive me. Forgiveness. Hmm. Well. I want you to look at this wall. This one right here. As you're paying close attention, these are your strikes, Rena. And of course, according to the rules of baseball, you only get three. Since you broke a rule, you get your first one. I'll let you off with a warning. But, you mess up again, your second strike won't be good. And you mess up any further, let's just say that your career will be blown to bits. Hmm. Understand? Yes, Master. Good. Now go. Spectacular performance. Mommy, I want to be just like her. Very good, Rena. Pleasure to see you again. Our next show is in half an hour. Enjoy your food, go on rides. It's all fun and games here at the carnival. All right, break time. <sighs> Got you your favorite Starbucks drink. Hope you enjoy it. Huh. Hi again. You were good up there. After what happened before, um, sorry. If you wanna hang out, maybe later tonight or something? And not much of a chatterbox. All right. Anything all right with your friends? I have no idea. You ready to go home? Yeah. And after I told him not to, he did anyway. Okay. I am gonna go, but maybe I can see your next performance. See you later. <laughs> Who is that? Rena! Whoa! What the? He will not take Rena. Boss, someone threw a knife at me! It was probably the dart thrower messing up again. 
God, get over it. Something wrong? Something wrong, she asks. Oh no, Rena. There's nothing wrong. All except that boy talking to you. He just talks to me. I don't talk to him. You know I'm loyal to Eugene. Even though I only messed up that one time. Mm-hmm. Just remember your strikes. But, can I ask you something? I understand that I'm loyal to you. But, why am I not allowed to talk to other people? Because I said you can't. Now out of my way, before I go back to my office and cross out another strike. Yes. Hey, come on to me. Do you even wanna go away from this place for a little bit? I, I can't. Please, just for a tiny little bit, one night. Okay. Yes? I heard you crying that one night. You were singing, right? Before this stuff started happening? No. But now it's like... She doesn't even trust me anymore. Has she hurt you before? A few times. My name is Asher, by the way. Raina, are we done? Because I really shouldn't be talking to you. Why? I don't know. Please. So you have to stop talking to me because... I'm afraid that something is going to happen. Bad things. Bye. Whoa. You scared me. What? The hell did I specifically tell you? You saw. I'm guessing as usual you win. Shut up. I told you not to speak to him. Master, please. He wouldn't leave. What was I gonna do? Let him be there all night and not going away? I wanted him to go away, but he wouldn't. All he wanted to do was talk. But I kept telling him that I can't talk to him because of your rules. <laughs> what the heck is this? A trap box. And a trap door.
How stupid do you think I am? I know what you wanted me to do, Master. This isn't my fault. You had options not to go. But look what you did. That's strike two. I never wanted to do this. But, I told you, it would get worse. <laughs> it was nice knowing you, sir. No! <laughs> Good riddance. <laughs> Come on, Reno. Look as it as I've done you a favor. <laughs> as I always say, it's all fun and games until you fall in love. Please, Master. I'll do anything. Please. I don't want to die. Loyal, he said, years. He changed a lot. I don't want to leave you. I love you. The reason why I've changed is because you've become such a big hit to this carnival that no matter what, stupid guys will try to hurt you. And I was not gonna let that happen, but you didn't listen! I've always had to save your ass all the time! And if you loved me, you would have listened. If you loved me, you would have stayed where you belonged. And if you really loved me, You'd call me by my name. I got you this job. My name is on the door, but you barely open your mouth to say it. But what you could have done was not be too harsh. I mean, with me? Are you that crazy? What have I ever did that to you? Never. You just chose to do that for a punishment. I have been good to you through the years, and all I did was disobey you this two times. It was just different from meeting someone else. You just wanted me to yourself, which I am, because I follow everything you asked me to do. I did only two things wrong. But I like to call you master because you found me years ago and checked me in. I do call you by your name, but I just like calling you that. Well, stop! The more you do that, you physically and mentally make me go insane. <laughs> Any last words, you piece of plastic nothing? Ah! Rena? Oh my god, Rena! Hey, it's okay. What's wrong? You're okay. No, I'm not. What happened? I had a nightmare. It was about. You're not following your rules. Not talking to people. Then I did, and you got mad. And you went to me and almost killed me. Oh, Rena. I never do that to you. You're safe. Don't worry. 
It was only a nightmare. Okay. So, do you care about me calling you, Massey? No, I don't care what you call me. It's okay. Now get some sleep. We have a show to do tomorrow. Good night.